Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks Pro displays the home window when you open a company file. In QuickBooks 2016, the home window contains two tabs, Home Page and Insights. You can switch between the content of the two tabs by clicking their names shown on the tabs in the upper left corner of the page. The home window is shown by default whenever you open a new company file, but you can close it by clicking the small x in the upper right corner of the window. You can redisplay the home window by clicking the home button within the icon bar or by selecting Company and then Home Page from the menu bar. The first content to discuss is the content shown within the home page. To see this content, click the Home Page tab in the upper left corner of the home window. The home page provides a starting point that allows you to access many of the most commonly used features of the program. It also shows an overview of the relationships between the various windows within the QuickBooks Pro application. The home page shows icons that illustrate the sequence of activities often performed when using QuickBooks. Each activity is shown as an icon within a diagram of related activities underneath a general heading displayed at the top of each section such as customers or vendors. The flow of activities shown here is a really great way for new users to begin learning how QuickBooks is commonly used within businesses. For example, if you open the sample product-based business company file included with any version of QuickBooks Pro and examine its home page, you can see the different ways that the sample company can collect money from its customers illustrated within the customer section of the home page. Studying the relationship between the icons can assist new users in figuring out how to use the program by showing the order in which the associated tasks should be performed. Also note that the icon shown within the home page can change depending upon which features of QuickBooks are enabled or disabled within the currently opened company file. These features are often set when the user creates the company file using either the Express Start or Easy Step Interview. For example, if you indicated that your company doesn't use estimates when creating the company file, then you would not have the estimates icon within your company file's home page after creating the company file. You can, however, also manually enable or disable features of QuickBooks after creating a company file, which can also change the icon shown within the home page. The most important feature of the home page is that you can click the icons shown within it to open the related task window. For example, clicking the Create Invoices icon will open the Create Invoices window. This allows you to have quick access to the various windows within the QuickBooks application. In QuickBooks 2016, you can also see an overview of how the company is performing by viewing the graphs shown on the Insights tab. To see the content of the Insights tab, click the Insights tab in the upper left corner of the Home window. At the top of the window, you will see your company logo, name, and the date shown at the left side, and three buttons you can use to manage the information in this tab shown at the right side. Below that is a large bar or column graph with two smaller graphs below it that display income and expenses. If you want to add your company logo to this tab, you can click the Upload Logo area in the upper left corner of this tab to open an open dialog box. You can then use it to navigate to and select the logo image to use. Then click the Open button in this dialog box to add your logo to the tab. To print the content shown within this tab, click the Print button in the upper right corner of the tab to open a separate Print Preview window. You can preview the content and then click the Print button in the upper left corner of the Print Preview window to open a Print dialog box. You can select a printer and set printer settings within the print dialog box. You can then click the print button within the print dialog box to print the graphs. If you wish to close the print preview window, just click the X in the upper right corner of the window. To refresh the data shown in the Insights tab, click the Refresh button in the upper right corner to ensure it displays the most up-to-date information. To select which graphs are shown within the upper portion of the tab, click the Customize button in the upper right corner of the window and then click any graphs that you want to see to mark them with a check in the drop-down menu shown. You must select at least one graph to display. 
Then click the OK button in the drop-down menu to apply your changes. You can also click the Cancel button in the drop-down menu instead to cancel any change you made. The graphs you choose to show will be displayed within the large column and bar chart section within the Insights graph. If more than one graph was selected within the drop-down menu, then you can click the left and right pointing arrows at either sides of the graph to cycle between the graphs shown. Alternately, you can click the small dots shown at the bottom of the graph to cycle between the graphs shown. The graphs at the bottom of this tab simply show income and expenses. For the large bar or column graph, as well as the expenses graph, you can click any data shown within the graph to display a quick report in a separate window that details the transactions that contribute amounts to the specific section of the graph clicked. For example, clicking the payroll expenses section of the circle shown in the expenses graph will display a quick report on the transactions attributed to the payroll expenses account in a separate window. You can click the small X button in the upper right corner of the quick report window to close it when finished. Clicking any section shown within the income graph will display the income tracker in a separate window and show any transactions contained within the specific section that you clicked. You can then close the income tracker window when finished by clicking the X button in its upper right corner. You can click the drop down within the expenses graph to change the time period of the expenses shown if needed. You can also click the Create Bill link in the upper right corner of the Expenses graph to create a new bill within the Enter Bills window, or click the Create Invoice link in the upper right corner of the Income graph to create a new invoice within the Create Invoices window. You can close either window if opened by clicking the X in its upper right corner. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.